I'm about to do a little show and tell, showing you, telling you about a homemade electrolyte mix recipe that you can find for free by going to optimizingnutrition.com. That is Marty Kendall's site. He runs optimizingnutrition.com and he has a free electrolyte recipe on there. You can see on your screen a photo on the, um, that shows the cover photo for the article. I've printed it out for myself and um, I'm gonna be making a new batch for myself because I want to have some for my water bottle to add to my water bottle. On Marty's recipe, you will read about um, your body craving electro electrolytes like potassium, sodium, calcium and magnesium. Now there's no calcium in this recipe, but there is potassium and sodium. And he talks about all of the elements that he's using in the recipe. He explains that in his recipe. Um, and he gives, he does talk about calcium here, right? Let's see, potassium, sodium. So sodium, potassium, magnesium, the, uh, the ratio of sodium and potassium, Glycine, which is optional in this recipe. Creatine. Um, so where does the calcium come in here? Uh, he has a smart, a small batch recipe and a large batch recipe. Um, oh, he does answer it. Why we haven't added calcium? Okay, so all those things are here, and his article will connect you to more of his free content too. But I'm going to go ahead and mix up my small batch recipe right now. And in the description box, I will link everything that I'm using, mentioning here. I will link the uh, to the article. I will link you to Marty's community if you want to participate in that. It's free. And his, he, ha, he just gives away his teaching. There's very few things that he doesn't give away. He is not trying to empty people's pockets inside out, no. Um, but everything will be linked in the description box and I bought all my ingredients off from Amazon. One less trip out of the house searching for things. Okay, I need to start by zeroing out my scale so that it's not showing the weight of the body, uh, the bottle as I'm measuring out this recipe and Turn to the small batch recipe. Now it is written in gram measurements, but I'm also going to tell you the um, the measuring spoon measurements. So grams are metric and measuring spoons are imperial. You'll get both of them and the recipe will be in the description box, both in grams and in measuring spoon amounts. I'm going to start by putting in the potassium citrate powder and um, I'm using the teaspoon to get it in, but the measurement would be one tablespoon and a quarter teaspoon. So I'm gonna do very full teaspoons to try to get up to my um, 19 grams of this. I've got 12 there. And let's put in one more of the very full teaspoons. So that's really one tablespoon and a quarter of a teaspoon is what I measured out when I was using the measuring spoons to get those measurements. The next ingredient I'm putting in is magnesium bisglycinate. And um, that, caught, whoops, got to zero this out. And it calls for five grams. So I'm going to start I measured it out as one and one quarter teaspoon. And I have a very full teaspoon on there. I got to four grams. I'm gonna put a scotch more in. And that took it up to six grams, but that's close enough. Uh, I'm also gonna wipe off the dust. That, oh, it went back down. It's going between five and six, so let me, um, First, just wipe the scale off and then zero it out again. It's showing between five and six. It's bouncing back and forth. The next ingredient will be sea salt and that calls for a 11 
grams, that measures out as two teaspoons, roughly. It's much more precise to do grams. Oh, and I don't need the teaspoon for this. I'm going to just kind of tap in a little bit at a time and get up to 11 grams. I've zeroed out and I wait for this to kind of register just, I'm dusting it in a little at a time so I don't go over, tap, 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 just to get it to barely come out. It's, it's easy to go over when you're doing it in grams and I want to get up to 11 grams. I'm up to eight and there's nine, a little tap, tap, tap. There's 10, so just a little tap, 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 tap. And tap, 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 so it's dusting in. That should do it right there. I should see 11 on the screen any second now. Just barely. I don't want it salty. Okay, I hit 11, I'm gonna stop. And then the next thing, glycine. Now he does say glycine is optional, but I think it's a really good ingredient to have in here. Uh, you can read his reasonings in his recipe. Marty Kendall, optimizingnutrition.com. He's a wonderful um, data-based teacher. I'm trying to zero this out. Okay, now what I want is four grams of glycine. I'm gonna start, I measured it out as three quarters of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna just try to pull that from here. Glycine is very sweet tasting. So let's dump that in. And I got exactly four grams, okay, nice. And the very last one, creatine. And all of this will be linked in the description box. I need to zero this out before I measure in five grams of creatine. Now creatine's interesting in that it's almost like um, brown sugar that you could measure it loosely or you could measure it packed. And so I, when I measured with a measuring spoon, I got one and three quarters teaspoon. But I'm gonna do a packed in, like I would brown sugar, just pack it down and see if that gets the creatine amount of five grams. So let's tap that in, four grams. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do a scooch more and see when we hit five grams. Just keep doing little dibs and dabs. There's five grams. So that's my recipe put together. And then what I'm gonna do is put the cap on it and shake it up to mix it, blend everything. I'm also going to mark it with masking tape. Electro light. Elect light mix and then I'm gonna write on here half a teaspoon for my water bottle per and I'm gonna write water bottle and then the information is on here rip this off First, the electrolyte mix label. Put it around the jar. Electrolyte mix. And then the measurement, so I don't have to look it up again. Half a teaspoon per water bottle. Put the tape on here. And there we go. And now I've got my labeled bottle of electrolyte mix. Set this aside, I'll get my water bottle because I'm getting ready to run some errands and add this, make sure it's mixed up well. That, uh, the last ingredients, the creatine was packed in the spoon. So I'm just gonna, gonna also use my spoon to break this up 
just making sure I'm getting a good mixture of the ingredients. And there's about half a teaspoon. And in it goes into the water bottle. And I could flavor it if I want. I have a variety of ways of doing that. I'm just going to drink it plain. I can kind of taste the minerals of it, but the glycine and the sea salt offset themselves and the minerals. And there I go. I've got a homemade electrolyte mix. And as you can see, I have ingredients for a very long time. It's, it's a, kind of an expensive startup, depending on what your budget is, but um, I'm set. And I can just uh, use my own homemade electrolyte mix, flavored or unflavored. I can use these ingredients as separate ingredients because if you read about each of these things, you see the health benefits associated with each one. So thank you for watching.